So I had, yeah. a question, I had a question for you, yeah. actually. Uh, how exactly are you guys affiliated with the Bloodstained Kickstarter? Are you guys directly developing it? Or? We are developing the game, straight up. Wow, okay. Yeah. So you're working directly with Ega on the development of it yeah. and everything? Yeah. So how, how's that going? I mean, it's still in its early stages. Right. But um, it's, it's going well, but it's really starting to pick up. Okay. Now. Yeah, I, I, the moment that went live, before anything had like gone everywhere, I went nuts over that because I love that style. I, I backed it in the 350 tier. Wow, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you, as a guy who was with the team at, when we were doing the kickoff live stream, I don't know if you saw that. Uh, I didn't get uh, to see it, unfortunately. But So we were, we, were, we were at Twitch headquarters doing the live stream. Right. And we were just like... Well, it started. We hit our initial goal in three hours. Yeah. And we were just like... I was watching it from the moment that it like we was successful. Like, holy crap, holy, holy shit, crap, holy crap, holy crap. Holy like, yeah. We were, we were working ourselves to death just trying to keep up. To add, new, to add new stretch goals and everything to keep yeah. up with the oh, growth. And, you know, that takes a lot of work to get all that set up and Kickstarter and all that oh, stuff. Oh, no, definitely. It was mental. <laughs> that was a crazy I, day. I believe that 100%. That was a crazy day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was watching that. I think it's the highest ratio for like overage, like not the highest funded, but the highest completion over. Because you got like your initial goal was five hundred thousand, and you guys broke the. You got eleven times that. Yeah. So you guys are literally your total funding is double what was supposed to be in the end. Because weren't you guys getting? Uh, you had a developer that was going to be pitching four and a half, right? If you got the five hundred. No, a publisher. Yeah, the publisher. Pardon me. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that was it. Cause you hit the goal, and then you were getting that 4.5 from them, and then your total goal ended up being you ended up taking out like 5.5 million. It was, it was insane. It was insane. Nobody, I can tell you, nobody in that room expected, expected that. What yeah, we got. <laughs> That's an amazing thing. Well, I didn't expect to clear a million. See, that his per- honest to god projection was like, if we got 800,000, that'd be super great. Yeah, no, you guys we had that before we left Twitch headquarters that night. Yeah, you guys blew that out of the water. It was insane. Well, that's the thing is like, it was this is more proof that Konami's been making a lot of mistakes. And they just, yeah, aside, I, and I'm a big Metal Gear fan too. I've dropped 130 hours in Metal Gear Solid 5. Nice. And it, it made me so sad to hear that the vice president of the company just up and walked after 5 was done. Like Kojima just left. Because of the way Konami, Konami was handling oh, there's things. There's things I could tell you about Konami that I rather that I cannot tell you. But yeah, things that you could but can't. Yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. um, you. Yeah. It's yeah, you're not off the mark though. Let me tell you, it's, it's a sad situation. That, yeah, yeah. but this is just proof that you know, with how well Bloodstained has done, it shows you that you should not ever um, the eliminate second, the possibility the of doing that. The second they took Koji off the Castlevania series is when that was a big mistake. Yeah. Now, granted, I liked Lords of Shadow. I thought that was a nice new way to breathe life into a 3D style of game. Oh, yeah, it wasn't a bad game. By I no, don't think it was bad. No, I, I solid eight, like across the board, solid eight out of ten. It was, it was a fun game to play. I actually, I don't even really like that style of game all that much. But the way that they handled it, I thought was better than God of War because God of War makes it, it feels too much like a button master, whereas you felt a little bit more strategic on how you had to handle things. I can see that. Sorry, jet lag. It's all good, man. It's <laughs> it's been a long day for a lot of people. How do you slide into a guy? Uh, right, right above the button. Well, anyway, thanks a lot for talking yeah, with me. Yeah, no problem, man. It's awesome getting to talk with you about it. I'm super excited for the game. Thank you very much. Well, uh, as soon as we have more stuff about it, um, yeah, the, we're, we're, it's, it's going. The, the, the process is going, so I assure you. So Awesome. Hopefully, we'll I'm, have more uh, more info and stuff sooner rather than later. So I'm looking forward to the PC build for backers because I'm getting three copies of that game in the end. Wow, dude, thank you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Well, it's... What, my favorite one in the series has been Order of Ecclesia, so... And that, I think, was one of Iga's most enjoyed to develop, if I remember right. Probably. Let me tell you something. Koji Igarashi, I met him through the campaign, obviously, working on it. He is such a just legit, awesome dude. Like... Super down-to-earth? Super down-to-earth. Super, like, endearingly humble. That's awesome. The man is way too... He's, like, too humble. <laughs> Like, and he's just one of those guys who's just fun and it's like, you sit down, have a beer, and just hang out and chat with the guy. He's, he's, I, I love him. He's That's awesome. I love him. He's such a solid dude. Not, not a diva in the slightest. Not, like, he's not, like, he easily could be if he no. wanted to oh, be. Oh, yeah. But he is not. He is, like, the antithesis of that. And 
I just have the utmost respect for him. He's just such a solid dude. I'm, I'm going to try, and I already know the answer, but any chance I can get that bloodstained banner from you? No, no chance. No. I, I didn't. <laughs> no chance. You can't blame really me can. for trying. Oh, I can't I mean, blame you. Oh, by all means, I mean, it's actually, it's actually the background on my phone is the... Uh, the wallpaper they were giving out. Oh, thank, thank Sweet God, Woody. You got text messages up the wazoo, Brandon. Yeah, I did. Lock screen. Yeah. Oh, nice. I, dude, the moment I got that, I was like, "Yep, keeping it there." The artwork's phenomenal. I can't yeah, get enough. Of it. That's that's one of our guys, uh, Yuji Natsume. He, it's, uh, it's so good. It's, I feel bad for his wrist. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for. Co- he, uh, um, he skipped in Japan. We have a holiday season in May called Golden Week. Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar. He just did not take off. He did not vacation. Oh, when everyone else was like on vacation, he was slaving away at that artwork. I think, Every day. I like think Eager's going to have fun night. signing all the collector's editions. So, daring daring so us to wear out his hand. So, hearing so many people that love the art so much, it makes me really happy because Homie slaved away at that. Yeah, no. Honestly, it, it, it feels like a refined and modern take on Symphony of the Night. Oh, yeah. And it's a lot of what they did with Order of Ecclesia and why I like them so much is they took like an anime art yeah, style yeah, yeah, but yeah. infused it with the gothic flair. And I love that. Yeah. It's, so, it's, it's going to look really good. I, it's everything I've seen at the office. Awesome. It's good. It's good well, again, show. thank you so much. It's no awesome. Problem, man. Can't wait to see